Now, uh, before moving forward, in this video, we will try to set up the environment variables. So, to set up the environment, like uh, as of now, we are using the hard code values of these ports, and in the future, when we will be using JWT, we have to store the secrets. Or if we are using some third party services, we have to store the API keys. So, we cannot hard code them in the code because when we will push this code to GitHub, those secrets will be exposed, which is not a good thing. So, we have to create an ENV file and put all the secrets on there. So as of now, we already have the CNV file, but this is for Prisma. So we are going to like reuse this file to be used in the Node.js as well. So in order to use this setup, what we have to do is first, we will create, first we'll add this, like in the git ignore, this file is already added. You can see that dot here, because we don't want this file to be pushed to the GitHub. Because as I already told, if we'll push it to the GitHub, the secrets will be exposed, which we don't want. Now to do, deal with this, like to deal with the env file in the node.js, we'll be using this package, which is .env. It's a very good package. You can see that it is a huge number of downloads as well. So we'll be using that. So let's first install this package. We will say npm install .env. So, so it's installed. Now in the source, we will create a file, which will be secrets.ts because here we'll be storing all the secrets now we will initialize this dot env so first we'll import it import dot env from dot env now you can see that it's not asking me to uh, install the types explicitly because this package like the types are inbuilt into this package so we don't have to install it separately now to initialize this, we have to say .env .config and here we have to uh, provide the path of the .env file. We will say path and it's uh, .env. It's a root path so we can just directly specify the file name. Now we can export the constant. So first we will try to export port and port will be process .env port now what this uh, env file does is uh, it export all the variables defined here and made make them available inside the process env file so we'll say port is equal to 3000 so we'll say export const now it should work okay now in the index.ts file, uh, instead of using this hard-coded port, we will say port and it will be automatically imported from this secrets. Now uh, let's try to run this, run the server and see if everything is working or not. npm start. And you can see that it's uh, running and let's go to the, we will say localhost. 3000 and you can see that it's working so that's how in env variables are set up now uh, for the other people who are like collaborating in this uh, project what we have to do is since uh, we have put this env file in the git ignore so how do those people know like what are variables they have to define in the env file so to overcome that we have to define this dot env dot in sample and we will push this file to the GitHub so that they have a template of what all the env variables they have to define in order to run the project locally. So we'll say port is equal to some port. We don't specify the actual port here or maybe actual secrets here because obviously we will not. So we just provide a dummy value there and the people who are cloning this project, they can specify the values accordingly. So that's how it works. So in the next lecture, we will define the routes now.